What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with another video. Today I want to talk about my Zero Base One pre-debut experience. I've spoken a bit about Zero Base One in my previous videos, so go and watch those if you haven't watched them yet. I am a huge fan of Zero Base One. I followed all the members through the trauma of Boys Planet. I would quite like to talk about my experience watching Boys Planet, because it really was very traumatic. I literally just cried so <laughs> And I feel like you form a really special bond with these members because you have been through so much with them. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was my pre-debut experience with Zero Base One. I was lucky enough to go to Korea shortly after the ending of Boys Planet, but before Zero Base One's debut. I ended up going to a pop-up event and I got some pretty cool merch there that I want to show you. The other thing that I went to was a fan event. It was a cup sleeve event at a cafe in Korea and I also got some pretty cool stuff from there. So this video will be me talking about those experiences and showing you all the really cool stuff that I got. So the first event that I went to was this pop-up event at the building for CJ Entertainment. So the area that that's in is full of all these different entertainment company buildings. It's a pretty like corporate area. So I dragged both of my friends there with me that I went to Korea with and they weren't really like super into Zero Base One. They didn't watch the show or anything, but they were like happy enough to come with me to this event. The event was over multiple days. So each day was for a different member. I decided I wanted to go on Matthew Day because I chose him as my bias pretty much at the finale of Boys Planet. The entire time I was rooting for other people, we'll go into that in a later video, I actually really didn't know what it was gonna be. So we just rocked up at this building and we were walking around like trying to find like lines of people. And the event said that it started at 12. So I think we got there about 11.30 in the morning or something. There was literally no one there. 11.30 in the morning? Is that early or late? It's so late <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> That's like the last possible time you could order, organize something for the morning. So we ended up going into the building and then we saw this cafe that was inside the building and they kind of had like some posters up and screens that were showing like videos of Matthew and of Zero Base One and everything. So we're like, okay, we're in the right place. So we ended up going up to the cafe and ordering coffees and they had these um, cup sleeves that you could get if you bought a drink. Here it is. I brought this back with me all the way from Korea, just a piece of round cardboard. I can't remember how I actually got this home without it bending. I think I like stuffed socks into it and just like put it in my suitcase. That's a tip for you if you wanna get your cups, your cup sleeves back from Korea. Zero base one, and it's got the date of their debut. I should read this first so I know what it says. The first mini album, Youth in the Shade, 2023 07 10 6 p.m. Korean Standard Time. So that would be, yeah, when the music video dropped. And just a cute picture of them all standing in front of some trees. It looks like it's ripped, but it's not. Um, that's just like the style of it. And then it's got this little detailing with Youth in the Shade and like a little QR code that I guess you could scan to pre-save the album or something. Um, it's written in Korean there, so I'm not entirely sure what that says there. No? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. Don't want to scan it and find out. I doubt it will work anymore. Should we try? Ooh. Hey, it does go. It goes to like some page where you can click listen now to the album. Lights, camera, action. So we got our little cup sleeves and then we were trying to communicate with the barista, how we got the other merch. There was actually this little glass case near where the cafe was that was displaying all the merchandise but I couldn't see anywhere where they were selling it. And it turned out we were just way too early. The merch sales didn't start until two and it was just before 12. We were stuck in this kind of corporate area, business area with not really a lot going on. So we ended up just walking around. We found this area where they had a lot of handprints in the ground and it turned out they were of all different Korean actors. Later on in the trip, we actually did a similar thing with idol handprints. There was also a big line outside one of the entertainment companies and we were trying to figure out what it was for. I think we ended up finding out what it was for, but I've forgotten, <laughs> but there were so many people there. I think it must have been a fan meet or something with a pretty famous idol. So eventually we returned to the building and there were some people setting up this little merch stand. I lined up, I was I think third in line and you had to use like a touch screen thing to choose what you wanted and you got a little ticket. There were all these rules as well and it was kind of hard for me to understand what the rules were because it was like, you can only get two of this and three of this. And it was just like very overwhelming. I had to get merch for my friend as well, who wasn't with me at the time. 
So I was a bit confused as to whether I was allowed to buy that much stuff. So after all this stuffing around, what do you reckon I bought? A bunch of paper. <laughs> yep. She loves paper. I don't know, I think they call them posters, but it's not really a poster, is it? It's like not that much bigger than my head. Although I do have a pretty big head. There was two different types. One of them frolicking in a pool and the other one them trying to look cool with cars. Kind of opposing concepts, I suppose. This one's actually really cute. I like this. You can see a little rainbow here. <laughs> Gay. I feel like this concept is a lot more suited to them than this other one of them just trying to look cool in front of cars. Don't kill me, but I don't think they're the coolest guys ever. I haven't looked at these for a while, actually. Well, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not before. I then bought these postcard sets for each of the members. So they came with two different postcards for each member. This one is Matthew, who is, you know, my bias and who I went to this event for. The only thing that made this Matthew day was the fact that the posters and the screens displayed him. All of the merch I think for every day was exactly the same. The little cup sleeve thing was the same every day. It was just that the place had been decked out for that member. What's the point of going then? I don't know, to show your support for that member. I mean, I got like nice photos with the posters and you yeah, know, be the, like, the show's over, they'll kick it about. <laughs> the friends that I was with kept joking that maybe he'd just like rock up to this event and I was like there's no way he's coming to this thing. Can you imagine like him wasting his time coming to meet 30 people? So that's Matthew. Again two concepts. Reading a book and smelling a flower. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to go that way or that way? That way? I think all of them have a vertical and a horizontal one. I think I've just figured that out. So here's Hanbin, my bias wrecker. I don't think he was at the time, but I really have grown to like him a lot. Some days I actually like him more than Matthew. Sorry, no flowers or books here. Just, I don't know, being blinded by the sun. <laughs> the next ones I got is Jiung. Dark, broody concept and light, airy concept. So cute. The back of all of these just basically says youth in the shade. I'm trying to put shade on it so that you can see it. There you go. That's the same on, every, on the back of all of them. Yeah, it doesn't even have their name on the back. Just zero base one. Oh. The next member is Terry. He is my third favorite member, I think now. It all kind of switches and changes all the time. He's so smiley. Look how cute. How come his ha has words on it and the other ones don't? Again, I can't fucking read it because I'm an idiot who needs to learn Korean. I actually really love this one. Oh, Gonuk. Oh, this one has le letters on it too. Words, letters, words, has words on it that I can actually read. I don't know what lies at the end. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, don't say that to the poor boy. He's only like 18 years old. He's got a while to go. 18, he's got to know people die. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows. And someone who never smiles, uh, Ricky. Look, just serving face constantly in silence. Oh, a lot of these do have words on them. Look like an idiot now. What lies at the end in silence. Next is Kuvin. Cutie. These two don't look like they're different concepts. They look the same. What's that about? They're both just smiley. Broody versus happy, and then these are both just... Next is how? Sleepy boy. The feeling of excitement and fear. Interesting. I, I want to know what the... Oh, I didn't say what the words were on this one. Given had words on his too. But I'll run towards it. These must all go together in some sort of order that I'm not like figuring out yet. And last we have Eugene. That one's so dark, you can barely see it. I'm falling slowly. I feel like this is like some sort of puzzle that I have to solve now. What is it with the symbols? And then you have to work out the, the pattern and the puzzle. A cypher, cypher. That's another good K-pop group as well, cypher. Uh, actually, this, this is like bringing it around and around. Cypher has the member, Keita, who was in Boy's Planet, who I wanted to win Boy's Planet, who did not win Boy's Planet, and he should have been in Zero Base One, but now he's in a great group called Even. The ciphers and the, oh, oh my God. This is really upsetting me that now they're all mixed and not in their plastic containers. Took us an hour and a half to get to, and then we had to wait for two hours. And then I had to line up and buy these pieces of cardboard. Was it worth it? Absolutely. I was already so obsessed with this group before they even debuted. And just to get my hands on some sort of official merchandise felt really special. Other people in Australia wouldn't ha have had the opportunity to get that. So getting it for me and my best friend, um, it just felt 
It felt really special. I don't know how much I spent. I think it was even like $50, which seems like a lot for cardboard. So the next Zero Base One event that I went to while I was in Korea was a fan-led cup sleeve event. I randomly found out about this off an Instagram post. It was at this little cafe, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and we ended up getting a bus there because it wasn't that far from my Airbnb. I was really glad I was with the friend that I was with because I don't think I would have found it if I wasn't with her. But we found it, it was down this little alley and there was actually a line already for this event. Outside was decorated really nicely. It was so cute. They had like a big banner up and these little posters and they'd set up a little photo booth outside as well. So we lined up and I think there was probably about 10 people in front of us and we finally got in and I started stressing because again, I had no idea how anything worked. So all the instructions of everything you had to do was all written in Korean. So I was very confused about what I had to buy. So they had drinks, obviously, I think there was a choice of like iced Americano and an iced tea type drink. And they also had cookies for sale. I didn't know whether I had to buy like a drink and a cookie or two drinks and two cookies to kind of get all the things that I wanted to get. I found myself like obsessively watching every person that went up to the counter to try and figure out what they had bought. Again, very happy that I was with the friend that I was with because she ended up going first and bought like a ton of stuff. The first thing was this cup, beautiful cup. I will mention the drink didn't actually come in the cup. So they give you the drink in a metal cup and then give you this on the side because they know that people want to collect the cups. They don't actually want liquid in the cup. So a non-functioning cup basically. So this event was actually a combined event for Matthew and for Jiung. During the show, they got quite close and there was quite a lot of chemistry between them. A lot of people started to kind of ship them as not a couple, but People really liked their vibe together. So I think that's why they did a joint event with the two of them. So yeah, it was basically just like a fan put on event to support these two members. And I think it was really cute. Cute. I will be by your side. I love it. These photos are from the finale. So they actually look kind of sad and emotional in these photos. I don't know, it's still cute. You know, it, it was an emotional day for everyone. <laughs> I get it. These were the other things that came with the set when you bought the drink and the cookie. A little group picture of them with a zero base one cake. Super cute. I don't know who designed all this merchandise. I'm assuming maybe the people who put on the event or they commissioned someone to do this artwork, but it's incredible. It looks exactly like them. They also came with these little character cards. Again, so cute. Don't know who drew these, but they're amazing. This one is supposed to be Matthew, and this one is supposed to be Jung. And then these little see-through cards as well. Matthew's one, and Jung is a baby for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why his one was a baby and then Matthew's one wasn't. We had got there quite early, so we did have a table. A lot of people were just kind of like milling around and not really sitting down. And then suddenly everyone just kind of started panicking and I got really freaked out as I didn't know what was going on. Behind me, there was a table where the people that were running the event were just dropping merch just sporadically throughout the time we were sitting there. So every time they put merch there, people would like rush. And because it was just behind me, I was literally getting bowled over by these other girls trying to grab this merch. So on top of the initial merchandise that you got free with your drink and your cookie, I got some other stuff that I managed to fight the other people there for um, on this random table behind me. The first one is this kind of random photo of Jiung as a baby. I don't know why there were so many things of him as a baby. This is printed on like actual photo paper. Like it feels like an old photo, which is kind of cool. Memories. People could think you've got an actual picture of a random Korean baby in there. I was just thinking that. I'm like, that's pretty fucking weird, actually. <laughs> there was also these little film strips. So cute. Two different ones there, just of the two of them doing goofy poses together. I don't actually know where they pulled these photos from, but again, it looks like they're those real photo prints that you can get. I've received some of these from fan calls where it's like an extra add-on that you get. The member has actually sat there and done these photos, but I think these are kind of like rip-offs of those. The other extra thing I got were these cute pictures. I think they're supposed to look kind of like BL style animation. 
which I really, really like. I think whoever painted, drew these, I don't know how they did them, probably like digital art, right? They're so pretty. I just really love these. I love the colors, the blue and the pink. Now these aren't like photo paper, they're just normal cardboard. So yeah, I was wrapped to get all that extra stuff, fighting all those girls off to get that the extra merch. So after that, it all kind of settled down. They had a little photo booth that I mentioned before. So I got my photo taken. A little bit cringe, but that's fine. I'm very cringe. Cute. The only thing that's sort of themed to the event here is the little characters that were on those cards that I showed previously. I think you could choose from different templates, but I think I like this one because of the cute little characters and the blue. And they had little props that you could use. So I put on a little tiara and a little heart wand and just took these photos by myself. That was one of the ways that you could give back to the people who put on the event because they gave you a lot of free stuff, you know, so you buy a drink, you buy a cookie and you get your little commemorative picture. Cute, but cringe. I wonder what this barcode goes to. There's a barcode here too. Oh, shit. Focus. Oh, <laughs> it says this is an expired link, but it was so that you could get the digital version and save it to your phone. It was fun to go to one of these things. Like I always hear about these cop sleeve events to be in Korea and actually go to one was just like a really special experience. And I got kind of emotional to be honest. <laughs> Probably that trauma bonding that I have with Matthew to be at this event pre-debut with other fans that had watched the show um, and that, you know, we all loved the same group and the same people. An opportunity for you to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> it was so fucking chaotic. I could not believe. I was like, I can't deal with this stress anymore because you just had no idea when these people were going to start dropping merch behind you. Celebrating a man and a group that hadn't even debuted yet. I felt pretty lame, but it was fun. <laughs> So that was my Zero Base One pre-debut experience. It was really nice to revisit those events and look at all the merch, so thanks for joining me for that. I hope you found the story and the merch interesting, and if you did, please leave a comment down below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I had like something in my hair for some of the first, you know the last video? I had something in my hair. Did you? Yeah. It was like a little white thing. <laughs> People would go straight on the table and then just like... <laughs> <laughs> it explodes. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about something a bit different and I did that last time. <laughs> this is actually different. Your hair looks funny. Huh? Yeah. What's wrong with it? It's still like... Wow. Crazy. It's I'm, wild. I'm a wild man. Yeah, sure. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, I spent a lot of money on this stuff and it's like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Rip.